Finn, so tell us more about who was involved and what they're accused of having done. Well, there are three people involved. One medical doctor, uh, one manufacturer of uh, locally made weapons, and a third person. Uh, they were arrested last week, um, uh, Friday, and per the government's release to the information minister, they said that these three people, in conjunction with several others, were planning to destabilize the government and illegally take the reins of power in Ghana. So like you said earlier, they were in court today, and they were charged with... Um, conspiracy to manufacture arms and ammunition without lawful authority. So those are the charges that have been leveled against these three gentlemen. Now, per the, the account of their lawyer, and we spoke to their lawyer earlier today, the lawyer said that these gentlemen, they admitted uh, that um, the, there were weapons on their compound. Remember, they were arrested at a hospital. So per the government release, the government said that the hospital was a cover or a front. Now, these gentlemen said that, yes, there were guns on the premises, but they did not know who the guns belonged to. And so they were not guilty of these charges. But the court did not listen to them. And so they have to, they have to be in police custody until the investigations are done. So that's where we are now in terms of this case. Government says the investigations will still continue. Now, government in that statement said that for 15 months, like you said, they had been following these gentlemen. But it turned out that last week, Thursday, allegedly they had gone to a firing range to test some of the weapons they had uh, put together. And that was what pushed government to finally go in, perform the swoop or raid, and take these three gentlemen into custody. Nathan, I mean, how, in, how big a threat in reality was this? After all, Ghana is one of the most peaceful and stable in the region. Well, it, it, it is quite difficult to determine how big a threat it is, but the government saw it big enough to jump in. A few things that must be put on record. First, 2020 is, is an election year. In the last few episodes, if you go back three years ago or sometime before that, election periods are always very tense, very edgy. People are not too sure what's happening. So the government does not want to take any chance. And so anything that they deem uh, viable enough to cause a bit of a problem, they will go in and take care of it. Strangely enough, lots of people who have responded to this story seem to find the story a little odd, because if you look at the pictures that are flying about of the said weapons that were put together or the said equipments, they don't really look like anything, any, anything threatening. But the government is saying that they will not take chances. They will not allow anything to fester that will blow up into something bigger. So they are not taking any chances at all. And they'll keep their eye out for this and any other thing that they consider a threat that will destabilize the country.